Hi everybody, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary. I hope you're having a great day. This is the 2024 Acura MDX Type S and today we're at Aura Acura to give you the information to answer the question, do you get more than you pay for with this model? You definitely get a lot of features. If you're looking for an SUV that has a good comfortable ride quality but yet balances that out, with superb handling. Those two don't always go hand in hand. That's somewhat rare. Usually you sacrifice ride quality for great handling or the lack of handling comes because you have great ride quality. Not so here. Plenty of interior space, a lot of great technology. And here with this Type S trim level, you definitely get the best in performance with this MDX. And one thing I do want to share before we move on, if you plan to come into or Acura and buy a brand new, this only applies to the new vehicles, not the used ones, but if you mention that you saw a video on that particular vehicle, whether it's this one or another one, mention that to the salesman that you work with and you will automatically get the vehicle visionary discount. If you saw it in one of my videos, that's $500 off. You might say, well, that's not a lot of money, but guess what? It's something that will help you at least to save a little bit. So let's dig in a little bit deeper and see exactly what you get with this particular model. The exterior color on this model is apex blue. It's going to have gloss black in quite a few places, but the way it accents and works together with the gloss black and the apex blue, I think works really well in this case. The front end is unique to this Type S trim level in that it allows for improved airflow and aerodynamics. Everything is functional here on the front end as it should be with all of the vents. We have the diamond pentagon grill that looks like it's really in motion even when the vehicle is sitting still. The Type S logo will be found in a multitude of places around the vehicle and you won't have any trouble seeing either. The multi-jewel LED headlights and the chicane daytime running lights. That flickering effect you see, it's not really happening. It would be kind of cool if when you turned your blinkers on that that really did happen, but it doesn't. It has to do with my camera. So for those who might ask, no, unfortunately that's not really happening. Fog lights on the lower portion of the bumper and quite a bit that makes this model look very racy with the way everything is designed and set up. You do have air suspension here that allows for raising and lowering the vehicle, all wheel drive, and how about tire and wheel size? We're going to have 275 on the width, a 40 series sidewall, and all of that plentiful rubber for giving you great traction and handling is wrapped around the 21 inch wheels. Another Type S logo right there. And here is the remote. Everything that you would expect to find here, including remote start engine hold, that's what that is. It is a proximity key. You do have the walk away feature and turn signal indicators built into the power adjustable side view mirrors and a very nice look overall. The roof rail is up there as far as that area of the vehicle goes. There's your shark fin antenna with the body color and then your rear roof spoiler. You do have the exposed rear window wiper back here. I don't think that looks bad. And we finish things off with the taillights and our quad tip exhaust as well as a rear splitter. Speaking of the exhaust, what exactly is that attached to? Let's open the hood and talk about that. Under the hood is the rather plentiful 3 liter turbocharged V6. Plentiful because it makes 355 horsepower. The torque numbers come in at 354 pounds feet. It's mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission and MPGs come in at 17 city, 21 highway, 19 combined. That all depends on how much time you spend with the gas pedal on the floor. And if you're curious, how much gas can you fill your gas tank with? It has an 18 and a half gallon gas tank. If you're interested in towing with the MDX Type S. It will tow up to 5,000 pounds. You do have a hands-free power lift gate and cargo capacity, 18.1, up to 95 cubic feet. There is a lot of space back here. This floor opens right here. It is reversible, so you can turn it over and either use the carpeted side or the plastic side. That's always good news as far as that goes. 
And you have a couple of things to talk about here. Number one, a 12 volt power outlet. That's not unusual. You also have the hangers right here that you can drop down. But this button right here is called the walk away feature. And so let's just say you're like, well, I know I am and I know a lot of other people are as well. When you come home from the grocery store, it's nice to make one trip into the house, right? So you gather up everything in both hands and maybe you don't want to use the hands-free function. You can wave your foot under there or kick your foot and close this power lift gate. But one other option you have before you start gathering things up is you can push this button right here. You're gonna hear that beep. That's the walk away feature. So notice that I'm standing here. Let's just imagine that I'm gathering up all the groceries in both hands and it's been about 10 seconds or so, whatever it's been, we're just gonna stand here for a few seconds. And now I'm ready to walk away and walk into the house with all of the groceries. I walk away and look at that. I push that button with the walk away feature. And as soon as I walk out from under that area, that power lift gate closes. And obviously this is a three row SUV. So I'll just show you how to put the seats down flat because I know a lot of you like to see this. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So there is the rear seats, or I should say are, in case there's any English teachers watching. Here is how everything looks maximized. I know everyone likes to see all of the seats folded flat, and there's one more little trick to that before we get to that. There is the panoramic sunroof. That front portion does tilt or slide open. That additional little trick that I wanted to tell you is you can remove this seat. So all you're going to do is come right here. You're going to pull on this release. You tilt the seat forward and you pull it out. It probably weighs about 30 to 40 pounds, I'd say, so not too heavy. And there it is. I removed the seat. Just so I can show you what it looks like. So you might have multiple reasons why you want to do that. It's nice to know that you can do so if you need to adds a few more options to the potential of cargo capacity and space. And with the ebony interior, you're going to find the red contrast stitching. I think that looks very nice, better than what you typically see, which would be maybe white or even black. Doesn't really stand out as well, it does here. Armrests, well, let's see. Yeah, they're comfortable as long as you don't leave the door open too long with sun shining on it like that. Not too bad at the moment, but it could be. And then your door bends. You have these seats right here to gain access to the rear seating area. All you do is push that seat and then just hop on back. Definitely not a ton of space back there, but these seats do move back and forth so that you can change that or your passengers can at least change it depending on who's sitting back there. And as you can see right here, what functions as a cup holder and snack holder, whatever people want to put back here that are sitting back here, in addition to being a third seat here in the second row, well, there you go, you see what's there. And the command center right here for controlling fan speed and temperature. Here are the third zone of climate control. There are dual air conditioning vents on the rear, as well as a power outlet right there, a couple of USB options, and a 12 volt power outlet. And in case you have a really hot day like we have here in Northwest Louisiana today and the temperature is going to be in the mid 90s, you probably don't want to leave that power shade open for the panoramic sunroof. It's just up to you what you do with that, but it is there, so I thought I would show it to you. And one thing I did want to show you that I didn't show earlier with these heated power adjustable side view mirrors is the fact that they are also power folding. As you can see, when you lock the vehicle, they fold in. When you unlock it, it folds back out. Those mirrors fold back out and you're good to go. And here's what we're going to have with the passenger side front door. You can see the nice materials right here. Everything obviously high end from Acura. Again, a nice, large, comfortable armrest here, large door bin, power adjustable, heated and ventilated seats. Oh, I'm grateful for those ventilated seats today because it is hot. And there is the Type S logo yet again in a multitude of places, like I said, you do have some gloss black here in a few different areas of the vehicle. Just showing you what's here. A nice, comfortable felt lined, I guess that's what you call that material, but it is very comfortable within the glove box right there. Another 12 volt power outlet found here. Quite a bit of connectivity throughout the interior. And if you're looking for more USB options, well, there they are. And then we're going to have everything here for controlling the volume and turning the radio off and on. That's done right there. 
a little bit of a, well, I don't know, snack holder, whatever you want to put there that will fit. There are the drink holders and wireless charging. And then the nice wide lid for the center console that doubles as an armrest. There's actually two different ways to get into this. So you have a little bit of space there. There's the wheel locks if you need those. Those are often found in the glove box or the wheel lock keys, I should say. Wheel lock key, there's one. Let me get that right. Another 12 volt power outlet and another USB and space within the center console. If you want to control the shade for your panoramic sunroof, that's right here, and you can control the sunroof itself. It tilts and slides open via that button on the left. And one thing I did want to make sure I didn't neglect to show, I dare not leave this on, but there are your heated seats and then your massage seats as well. So you can turn that on right there. That's massage. The massage function, I tell you what, boy, that feels awfully, awfully nice, especially after an aggressive workout this morning. But more important to me than anything else, is this button right here. So that's going to turn on the ventilated seats. And so if you're curious right now, even though it's not too bad, but we have a lot of humidity right down here, you can see that it's 83 degrees. Today is September 28th of 2023. And I hope it's showing up, but we do have the head up display right there. I told you about that early, earlier and showed you where the controls are for that. So you can obviously make changes depending on where you want that to be located. You can change the brightness. There's quite a few little things you can do there, all done via the controls right here. And one thing I wanted to do that I haven't done before is actually show you the air suspension in action. So we're in sport mode right now. I'm gonna go to lift and let it raise itself up. I can feel it doing its thing from the inside of the vehicle. So hopefully you're able to see it on the outside, but that's going to be the difference between sport mode and lift mode. And depending on your situation, well, if you live in an area where it snows a lot, that could come in handy. All right, we're going to jump out on the road for a quick test drive here with this MDX Type S. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, it's quite an interesting balance of a comfortable ride quality, yet you have great handling. And with all that horsepower under the hood, when you need to get up and go, well, you can. Steering wheel is good and comfortable. The seats themselves are nice and comfortable, and that just complements the ride quality itself. So a lot going on to really benefit in every form and fashion with this particular model, depending on where you live. And the good thing about it is that you have the snow mode. You have all wheel drive. You can raise the vehicle up with that air suspension. And I showed you all of that earlier. The good thing about that, if you live in a place where you get a lot of snow, a lot of ice, a lot of issues that come along with that, well, you can alleviate that being a problem for you because of all of those things I just mentioned. And obviously the seats themselves, nice and comfortable. If you do live in an area where you get a lot of snow and ice, well, guess what? You have the heated seats. Or if you live in an area where we rarely get snow and ice, but you have an overload of heat as we do, it seems like a lot of the year around here in Northwest Louisiana, well, you have the ventilated seats. So all sorts of great benefits, built-in navigation, but you can also pair your smartphone and use your favorite app where all of that is concerned as well. And all the typical safety features such as road departure, mitigation, braking, and lane keeping assist, and adaptive cruise control, everything is here. You get it all. Quite a few features. So much that I don't necessarily have time to mention every single aspect, but then again, we don't want to make the video an hour or too long. That would be possible to do, but I'm not going to do that. But overall, a very well-balanced vehicle. It will literally check every box pretty much that you need. If you need three rows of space, well, you have that quite a bit here as far as that goes. Plenty of cargo capacity, a vehicle that will handle well and drive well. You know, if you're having a bad day and you want to go out for a spirited drive, well, you can have that sporty driving experience here as well. So just about everything you could want, almost. But I am curious for those of you who might be waiting for the next generation of the MDX. I have no idea when we're going to get that. This is the 2024 model. It was just redesigned for the 2022 model year. But what changes would you like to see Acura make in the future? You don't know who might be reading your comments, so make sure 
to tell Acura what it is you'd like to see added, changed, maybe left alone when the next generation does come along. Now it's your turn to tell me what you think down in the comments. Do you get more than you pay for with the 2024 Acura MDX Type S? Definitely a lot of features here. I know I didn't cover every single little detail to the max, but I think you have a pretty good idea on the high points at least. So don't forget, if you want to know more about this particular model and maybe come in and take advantage of the Vehicle Visionary discount here at Or Acura, check out the link down in the description of the video to learn more and hopefully you can come into the dealership and maybe buy this model or any other new Acura. That's the vehicles that you can use that discount on. I do want to say a special thanks to my friends here at Or Acura for loaning me this 24 MDX Type S for the day. And a special thanks to each and every one of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed to the Vehicle Visionary YouTube channel just yet, please consider doing so. And if you would like to learn about additional vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now, and I will see you there.